I'm going to show you the easy way to create photo calendars using the My Photographic software. Let's start by creating a new project. It's always good practice to check for updates by clicking on this button to make sure you're up to date with any software changes. Now let's go to product type and choose calendars. You'll see a variety of calendars here. Let's choose an A3 calendar with datelines. Let's give the project a name. Florida 2011 and create. As always, let's start by bringing some pictures in. I have a variety of pictures to choose from for my calendar. Let's choose an image for the front cover. I'll choose this image here and again it's easy just dragging and dropping onto the grey page. Notice the variety of templates for the cover. Let's choose a different template. Let's choose this one here cover one and again it's dragging and dropping and there we have it. We can double click the image and just adjust to exactly where you want it. I'll take this one and that's the front cover complete. Now let's go to January. Click on page two and here we have January. And again go across here we can choose a different page style for this page. Remember that if you do change a page style, for example this one, to drag the appropriate month from the scrapbook into this box, go to the scrapbook tab, tab and drag in January and just drop it there. And there you have it. Now back to page styles, I'll stick with page style 1 and again I'll go to scrapbook and drag in the month of January and now back to page styles. I'll choose a picture for this one and I will choose this one here and again I'll double click just to make sure I have everything here or just as slightly and there we have it. You then carry on to February and again drop an image in etc etc until all the months are complete. Let's go back to January. I'd like to show you how to create a text box and add some information to the calendar. Let's click on a text icon and a text box appears here. Now let's just resize it slightly and put it over here. Now the best way to work is to zoom in so you can adjust things clearly. If you go to view and go to maximum zoom, there we have it. Now here I can now adjust the text box to fit where I want it. Double click and then my message will be Dan's birthday. Highlight the text. Let's change the font to something basic. Uh, let's choose Arial and I'm going to make it bold. Center the text. I'm going to change the color to red and let's have a look at this. Now the text is a bit small so let's double click again, highlight the text and change the font size to, let's say, 16. And we'll OK that. I'll just bring it down slightly. There. Now we don't want to have to create a text box every single time. So let's just copy this text box by going to Edit and Copy. Now let's zoom out. Minimum zoom so we can see the whole calendar. Now I'd like to bring another text box down here, so this time I will just say edit and paste. 
the text box appears at the top here. We're going to collect it and bring it down here. And again, I will view and maximum zoom. Let's go to the text box. Here we are. I'll drop it in here. Double click and let's change this to Harry's birthday. Say OK. And there we have it. Now again, let's have a look at the whole calendar by going to minimum zoom. And there we have it. Once you've completed all the pages, it's a simple matter of going to checkout icon. In this case, it's telling me I have empty picture boxes because I've not actually finished the whole calendar. Hit OK and save the project. Read the disclaimer. Log in. And upload the calendar. And that is an easy way to make a My Photographics photo calendar. Thank you for listening.